guys, so I'm here to do another video and it is my review demo on the new Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder and Liquid Foundation. I am super excited to share this with you guys because I have been loving it. I am very surprised that I actually like it because when Maybelline first came out with their Fit Me line, let me show you guys, I actually think, let me see if I still have it. I had the other... Okay, I don't have it anymore. I did have the original Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I don't know where it went, but I remember using it not too long ago. But I didn't like the liquid foundation when it first came out because it was way too dewy for me. It was I got really shiny, and it gave more of like a, a dewy finish or like more of a, a demi-matte finish. But I love mattified faces, mattified foundations, especially for the winter time. So when Maybelline came out with this which is the matte and poreless and then it's the liquid and the powder I was like oh, I need this in my life I need to try it so I actually picked mine up at Harmon's face values it's pretty much a sister store of Bed Bath & Beyond and usually Bed Bath & Beyond and Harmon face values usually get the new foundation or new foundations <laughs> newer drugstore collections first and I still have my receipt from Harmon's and I can tell you exactly how much they cost. So the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Foundation and Powder. Wait, is that face? I believe it was like $6.99 or $6.29. It doesn't really say the names on there, sorry. But it was around six to seven dollars um, each for both um, for the powder and then another six dollars for the foundation so it's a really good price the liquid foundation is a one flow down very basic it's in the same exact packaging as the original Maybelline fit me foundation it is just a different formulation now if you guys go to your drugstores you might see another version of the fit me which is called the dewy something there is a dewy version like a new version and then a matte so I think Maybelline did an awesome job at doing that you know catering to the people with um, you know uh, more of an oily skin and people with more dry skin that want that dewy finish so I think that was genius so good job Maybelline and I've been wearing it for about two weeks already and I gotta say it's really 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 nice I've used it with several different primers I've used it with no primer and it still works extremely extremely well later on in this video I will be doing a quick demo on how it covers and how I apply it but you literally just apply it with my real techniques buffing brush which is this one right here um, if you don't have this you need this but um, I'll show you that quick demo, demo later in the video now this is for normal to oily skin and I have the color number 125 nude beige and the one that was like a step up from this was very very dark so I had to go with this one but I did end up going with a darker powder now this powder is 8.5 grams so it's a good amount of powder and again from normal to oily skin tones and I got the number 220 natural beige so I'm loving this and it has like a little bit of like a teal um, font and writing not font teal like writing color teal text whatever the writing is in teal <laughs> so it's called the matte and poreless because it's supposed to almost like blur your imperfections and your big pores on your face and I gotta say it does a really good job at that. When I look at my face in the mirror, I have a mirror right in front of me, it is very, it looks very smooth, especially around my nose area. I have big pores, like those are my largest pores are my nose. But looking at my face in the mirror, it is, it literally just looks blurred. It looks so nice and blurred and natural. I can't say enough good things about this. So again, that's the liquid foundation and the powder together. It is amazing. Now I've worn this liquid foundation with different powders and it actually works very, very well um, so on its own I think this is very nice this also another reason why I love it is when you put it on it almost sets to a powder for you sort of um, but I do like to go over with another powder just for a little bit more coverage 
Um, now for the coverage, it is a medium to full coverage. It's buildable. I've put on, you know, two, two and a half layers of this foundation before and it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't feel heavy. It's very, very light on the skin. So that's another reason why I like this. It's not one of those thick, heavy foundations. It's very nice, but it's not like watery either. It's like the perfect in between. And I don't, I just, I can't say enough good things about this foundation. I think it's awesome. And I'm very surprised that I like it because I didn't like the first original Maybelline Fit Me. The powder also is amazing. So this is the powder I have, number 220. There we go. But yeah, number 220, like 220 in the liquid was so dark, but 220 in the powder matched me perfectly because that's what I have on today. And guys, this powder is so smooth. This actually reminds me of like the higher end powder is how it feels. If you decide to get this and you like touch the powder on its own with your finger, it is amazing and it gives you good coverage on its own. Like you could probably wear this powder foundation by itself. I've never worn it by itself, but like I can even look. Do you guys see that? It like it builds up, but it doesn't like look super cakey on my hand, but it does give you that coverage right there. So honestly, this powder is so nice. I personally just use it to kind of like top off my liquid foundation, but you can use it on its own if you And I'm going to do a quick demo for you guys right now on the liquid and the powder. If you are normal to oily skin type, definitely try it out. Give it a look. Try it out. Lots of stores have really good return policies if it doesn't work out for you. For me, it works absolutely amazingly. I was very pleasantly surprised, and I probably will be repurchasing this. I can see myself using these two products to the very, very end of their lifetime. I'm like, I'm gonna run out of it, and I probably will repurchase this. It lasts very long. I can wear it all day. I work like eight hours or nine hours a day and it lasts. At the very end of the day, I can, at the very minimum, get like a little shiny, but I'll take it because it's not where my oils are seeping through. It's more of just like a natural shine. Other than that, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, to, or not tutorial, demo and review. Um, if you have any other requests for any other foundations for me to try out or that you've been loving, or even powders, I love me some powders. Um, let me know down in the comments below because I'm always looking out to try new things, especially drugstore stuff because if you can find it at a really good affordable price and it's really awesome, then I'm all for that girl. I'm all about the sales and the deals. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!